YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira and I am back. What's going on everybody? I hope everyone's doing well as usual. God, I say the same thing at every intro, don't I? Um, but I do. I hope that y'all are doing good and you know, everything is copacetic on your end. Um, this is again, one of those nights I was not intending to make a video. Disclaimer now, this is total, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, stream of consciousness. There we go. And there will be cursing. There will be smoking. I might commit a felony. Who the hell knows? Anything can happen. Um, but yeah, I wasn't planning on making this video. And then. It's always like, and then. Um, I still have my next food challenge video to do. Um, I've been dreading that. Ergo, I've been avoiding that. Please forgive my computer's musicality. But I wanted to come in and I wanted to talk to y'all about a situation that has transpired and, and sort of just my feelings around the situation and then just kind of my feelings. So some of you have may have guessed by the title of this video. Others might completely be unaware, so I'm, I'm going to put you on. Uh, there is a YouTube personality um, here on YouTube. How's that for redundancy? By the name of Gigi Gorgeous. And Gigi Gorgeous is... How would one describe Gigi Gorgeous? She's sort of an online socialite um she she i'm i'm told i have heard that she um sort of like performs or or not performs literally but um god what is the word i'm told that she's kylie jenner's friend okay so she's like in the circles of um the celebrities if you will she is also a woman of transgender experience. Now, I've known of Gigi Gorgeous for quite some time, and I should probably preface this by saying I am not subscribed to her channel. I have never met her in life. She has no idea who I am. Um, contrary to popular belief, we don't all know each other. And um, so, yeah, like I, I don't have a dog in her fight per se. Um, there, there's no personal stake here. That's what I'm saying. Anywho, Gigi recently found herself in quite a bit of a dilemma when she attempted to go ostensibly on vacation of some sort to Dubai, uh, which is located in the UAE or the United Arab Emirates. And she was detained at the airport in Dubai and not allowed access into the city and subsequently the country due to her being transgender. And there was a, you know, a bit of a kerfuffle. She more or less explains it all on her page. So I will do my utmost to link the video of her, you know, illuminating the whole experience um, below. Anyway. So she eventually she made it out of Dubai and, and, and she was sort of protesting the treatment that she received in that city, in the, you know, country, if you will. And, you know, just discrimination, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I, I know of transgender women who have successfully managed to make their way in and out of Dubai. Um, and these women don't have the... Um, celebrity adjacence that Gigi does so but I'm sure that by virtue of being a public figure and reasonably known you know that contributed to her um, her dilemma and and the subsequent drama that ensued and that's not really what this is about this is not going to be the whole Dubai has to change video I mean in a beautiful world those attitudes would relax a bit and, and account for the humanity inherent in all of us. 
but I am no fool and I am also somebody who was born in the Middle East. Most of you who've been with me a while know that I was born in Lebanon. I was born just outside of Beirut, Lebanon. And, um, and came to this country at a very young age and da 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 da. So, I mean, actually Lebanon is much more progressive in certain ways than, than other, well certainly than in other areas and in this instance in Dubai as well. Um, i.e. you will not be jailed for being transgender. It is not a punishable crime in Lebanon where it is in Dubai. But that's not really why I'm here. I am here because I watched the video of Gigi and as I said I've known of Gigi's channel for a while. Actually I go back to Gigi's channel prior to her transition um, and I was a bit intrigued by her because we had something in common, fun Jahira fact coming in three, two, one, which I've never disclosed before on YouTube. Um, once upon a time, a very long time ago, I was into competitive diving, as was Gigi. So we kind of had that thing in my head like, okay, you understand three and a half back in pike position, like <laughs> it was a thing. Anyway. So yeah, there was that. Um, so I, I'm watching this video, and I watch the video, and of course I feel for her, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not here to be like, well girl, you should have known better. You know, it, it, it's not that kind of thing. Why I am here, which only took me approximately six minutes and 45 seconds to discover for y'all, is that I finished watching this video and then, my dumb ass started scrolling through the comments. <laughs> and this, this was a real like perception versus reality moment for me because I'm expecting that the first comment one would see is, I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad nothing happened to you. It could have been so much worse. Thank God you're all right, etc. Gigi, I believe, has somewhere in, in the realm of 7 million subscribers, plus even. Um, and, and, so, and, and a huge following and a huge support system. Presumably the biggest, you know, audience of any trans YouTuber. So that's something, you know, kudos, huge stuff here. So that's what I was expecting to see. What, what I ended up seeing, as I fix this ever elusive headband, were comments to the effect of, I wish they had let you into the country so they could have beheaded you. Um, too bad they didn't shoot your transgender effing ass, blah, blah, etc. Just, just these truly vile, violent comments. And I'm talking about like from the first one, I probably got to about the 15th before I just had to stop and like engage in some self care like I watched Harry Potter. <laughs> Like, I was really distressed. And again, this, this is not because this is someone that I know and, 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 you know, we braid each other's hair and sing Rent together. Like, that's not what this is. It, it's, A, it shouldn't happen to anybody, ever. It just shouldn't happen to anybody. B, I can't conceive of the mindset of someone. You know, I realize that you can be whomever you would like to be on the internet. You have that capacity. All it takes is, you know, the lack of a picture and the facsimile of some kind of consistent um, approach to posting. And you can really cultivate a personality that, you know, can, can stay ostensibly for years to come. But I just... Wishing death on somebody, like truly lamenting the fact that someone did not die. 
at least presumably, is so far outside of the scope of my understanding of how humanity works. Like, I literally lack the wherewithal, this is why the FBI will never hire me as a profiler, parenthetically speaking. Like, I, I don't have it. I, I don't have that portion of the brain that allows you to, like, analyze that type of individual, you know, or, or even just prepare for that level of vitriol. Like, I don't got it. <laughs> I don't. A bad bitch recognizes her limitations. Note that. It will be helpful later. You know, I, I'm just not that person. And thirdly, this is why I am afraid. I hate saying that I'm afraid. I hate being the person to have to sit up in front of all of you, you know, despite my commitment to transparency between us. I hate this. It, it, it damn near closes my throat because it's so hard to admit. But I am, I am afraid of YouTube success. I have been told by multiple people going all the way back to Much Love from KY, who is single-handedly responsible. Nina, my Nina, mine. M Nina, much love from KY. Nina of Louisville. Hair and makeup and fabulous Nina. I just feel the need to clear this up. Is single-handedly the reason why this YouTube channel exists. It would not have happened without her. And, and that's just the reality of it. And so this goes, I mean, we're talking six years ago. I was told, you know, you have this personality, you have this vocabulary, you have a lot of opinions on a lot of shit, you've got something to say that I really think people want to hear. And I have been told that I can, that, that I could, with the effort and, and resources, parlay that into a much larger viewing audience than I currently have. I have been told this. I've been gassed up in, 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 in the most like elaborate ways to, to, to believe that. And on some level, do I know that I can? Yeah, I mean, and I don't say that with hubris. You know what I mean? Please know that like all humility is still present, but it's like, if I was to do certain things and if I was to, you know, put more effort in than I do, and if I was to be more consistent than I am, yeah, it could happen. I know that it could happen. I'm chain smoking. Um, but, but that, that stuff right there is why it hasn't happened. Because I don't know that I am in a place where I can compartmentalize that kind of violence and stick it into the troll box and go on about my day as though nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of crazy because like I'm in school for human services. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm going to eventually get to a place in my career where I will hear about, you know, childhood sexual trauma, ongoing trauma. I mean, really intensely evocative issues that I will have to learn and praise God, please Jesus, inshallah, the whole nine yards by the end of my educational experience, I will have learned how to leave work at work. And that is presumably the kind of thing that a person like Gigi has to do. YouTube is, for all intents and purposes, your job. So you leave your job at your job and the other whatever 23 hours of the day are yours to spend as you see fit. And you don't take it home with you. But like, this, this is broadcast from my home. You know what I mean? And, and, and to have somebody, to have a complete stranger say to me, there's nothing I would like more than for you to die. <laughs> and not 
that immerse itself into my heart. You know what I mean? Like, and, and not carry that around at this juncture would be beyond difficult for me. Now, I am in possession of an amazing support system. I have my mother, whom is my mother, but she's my mother. I hope y'all know what I mean by that. Like, she's a pain in the butt, but she's my pain in the butt. You know what I mean? I, I have Mike, who is a very bright light in an oftentimes very dark world and and has been the pillar upon which I am truly comfortable leaning. I have friends and 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 loved ones. I mean, I'm I'm good in that sense, but just something like that like how do you remove yourself from I'm not there. I know that I'm not there. Again, a bad bitch knows her limitations. That I I have not arrived at that place yet. And I don't even know how to get there, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like, we tell ourselves these platitudes all the time. Oh, you got to develop a thick skin. You got to buck up. You know, just the, these these bullshit pats on the head that we give ourselves. Like, you know, but like, I tend to approach life heart first. And that has gotten me in a world of bullshit before. Please make no mistake about it. But I've come to accept that as part of my genius and and that is the way that I have to move throughout the world because that is the way I was designed. I am always going to be that person who checks in with my emotions before I get all analytical and logical and, and things of that nature. And so, yeah, that, that hurts on a whole other level to know that your life is so expendable in the eyes of others, even if those others are insignificant. And please don't get me wrong. I am not looking for, th th this is not like grand opening of the sympathy parade. Like, please do not like deluge the comment session with, you know, with, with platitudes towards me. Like, I, I got this. I realize that they're trolls. I realize that they are peons in the grand scheme of things and that they should be insignificant and, and things that, like, I know all this. Logically, I know all of this, but I also know the way that my heart is set up. And I know that it would sting. And I know that, you know, like, at the very least, it's going to fuck up my day. <laughs> so that's where I am. I mean, my heart goes out to Gigi, both for what she experienced, which... I'm sorry that she experienced it. I can't sit here and say like I never saw it coming because, you know, that neck of the woods, <laughs> you should have asked around. I'm sorry. And I don't want to judge her either. I don't want to do that. And, and, and I'm not into the victim blaming. It shouldn't have happened, period, point blank, end of discussion, should not have happened. And I'm sorry that it happened. I regret that it happened. You know, what I, but what I'm more affected by personally is just sort of everything that came behind that. Because I, I don't even operate in those circles of, of people who just openly talk about folks that should die. You know what I mean? Especially folks who are not like, I mean, you know, if we're going to have a conversation about Hitler, okay, fine. You know, like he could have gone early. But... People who are living their lives and not bothering anybody in the doing of it. That's, that's a tough pill to swallow. That's a hard one to get over. And so I, I hope that I get to a place where I'm, I'm able to not be affected by the possibility of something like that occurring on this channel, in my life, etc. And, and in that way... I will have a more fearless approach to YouTube. Um, but for now, this is where I am. And I, I just wanted to share that with y'all. So, that's where I am. <laughs> I hope y'all are, are fantastic. And wherever you go, please take my love with you. And thanks for the last 20 minutes of your life. And I appreciate you more than you will ever know. I love you dearly. And as always, y'all, one love. 
we gotta do better. <laughs>